If you just follow these five steps, you'll be able to generate consistent leads every month, every week for the rest of time on LinkedIn. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joe Ignis. I am the owner and founder of the Knowledge Gap Company. One of the biggest struggles I see with business owners every single day when I'm working with clients, whether they're a $3.8, $4 million company or they're just starting out is lead generation. So how many leads do we have a month? How many leads can we get on a regular basis? And most businesses have no idea. They sort of are waiting on these referrals um, to come to them, or they're waiting on people to walk into their business or click a form on their website. And that's not a sustainable way to generate leads. With the process I'm about to show you, if you just follow these five steps, you'll be able to generate consistent leads every month, every week for the rest of time on LinkedIn. Number one right here on your piece of paper, okay guys? Um, this is really what people struggle with a lot, but it's identify your ideal client. So a lot of people insert whatever industry, we'll give real estate for example, you can sell to anybody. You can sell to absolutely anybody you want in real estate. In any retail business, you could basically sell to anybody. Most people can buy it industries. You have to find and identify and be extremely clear with the exact person you'd like to sell to. It's your ideal client. It's not everyone you can sell to. I think people get stuck there. You're not pigeonholing yourself. You're just finding the qualities, characteristics, your job title or job titles, the exact people that you want to sell to that will give you the, the greatest return on your investment of your time. Okay. So for example, if you're trying to sell to firemen, you know, I don't know, insert whatever example you want. That's totally cool. Now let's talk about location. So if they're firemen, you want them in a certain city, let's, let's call it Knoxville, Tennessee. That's where I'm at. And then you probably want an experience level. Um, let's say six years of experience again, insurance, whatever, what, whoever you're trying to sell to, right? Size of the business might be important to you. If they're over $500,000 in revenue or over $10 million in revenue, for example, which is some of the, um, clients we look at with the abrasive companies that we work with in consulting, right? So you, you list all of those out, job title, location, revenue or income, years of experience. And believe it or not, you can search that on LinkedIn. You can actually type in fireman, Knoxville, Tennessee, experience level, and you can find all of that and sift through LinkedIn connections that you could make just simply by putting it into the search. All right, so that's step one. It's really that simple. Make your client list, and then you're going to go through a process called aiming. So aim is AEM, it's add engage message, okay? So this is step number two over here. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna add or like the company page, you're gonna add the owner um, to your connections, so that way you'll pop up in their feed, and they'll see that you're a legitimate person. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna engage their content. Go like, go comment on something they're posting. Why? Simply because you're name pops up again and again, and you're sort of like a fan. And who doesn't love talking to a fan? We almost feel like we're obligated to reach out to our fans if people are commenting and liking on our stuff. Now, very important when you engage and when you message, the end part of this is to not come off like a robot. Don't do that. Um, be a human being. Just say, hey, I, I really enjoy your content. Appreciate what you do. Um, I saw that you're from Vancouver. I'm from Vancouver. I saw that you're from Knoxville. I'm from Knoxville. Just put something relatable in there, and your goal is to start a conversation. That's it. All right, so you identified, you've aimed at your target, let's say, and step number three is you're gonna discover. So in the messages, your goal is to ask questions that relate to your product or service and the frustrations or problems that you know your target ideal audience is going to have. For example, if you're trying to sell a commercial insurance, you might be asking questions about, hey, like what are your business goals in general? And what happens is these small companies that are your ideal audience, they're gonna tell you where they're trying to get. Well, if you wanna go from 1 million to 10 million, there's different risks associated with the business. Depending on what it is, for example, consulting, we have professional liability coverage that we need and for errors and omissions is what it's called. So if I want to go from a million to five or 10, that insurance has to grow and that's a commercial policy. You're gonna know what that need is and that's what you're trying to do in step three through the extra messages is discover their need. Fourth step here is you're gonna ask for the meeting. So you've done all of this messaging, you found the right people, there should be a need that pops up in the conversation. A big mistake a lot of people make right here is they try to solve their problem or sell via the messenger. You don't wanna do this. You just wanna get a meeting. The selling can happen on a meeting where they can't ghost you. Very important. So ask for the meeting, keep it simple, and just say, hey, I think I can help you with that. I'd love to have a conversation with you. When would be a good time we could jump on a meeting if you'd be open to that? And they're gonna answer and you'll get a booked meeting. And then you can do the selling. 
All right, fifth and final step here is a bonus step. Once you've got them booked on a meeting, you need to send an intro email. In the intro email, you should have some links to your biography, your experience, why they should talk to you in general, why you do what you do, your mission, your vision, your values in some way, shape, fashion, or form. Um, at the Knowledge Gap, we send a video you know, introduction, we send a link to the bio, the experience, we send a link to the purpose of the company and why we do what we do. And we do that because if people understand who you are and your goals and intent as a human being, and they appreciate that and they agree with why you're doing what you're doing, your meeting is gonna go way better and they're gonna be ready to close on the first call. So guys, remember, keep in mind as you're going through these five steps, right? Number one is identify the client, two is to aim at engage message, three is to discover their need, four is ask for the meeting, and number five is a bonus tip for you is to send an intro email so you can close on the first call. Um, LinkedIn is best for B2B sales, so business to business. Every single business owner or professional is gonna have a great LinkedIn profile, so make sure your LinkedIn profile looks great as well. Um, for some different business to consumer markets, LinkedIn may not be your best bet. In fact, Facebook's gonna be better. So if you wanna learn how to generate leads on Facebook, I made another video for you guys um, right here, and the link for that is in the description. So good luck generating leads, guys, and if you liked this, please like and subscribe. After you go try this out, love to hear about how it went for you. So just comment below with some good news or some questions and I'd be happy to help.